International School's 2023 graduation ceremony. Today we are celebrating with 10 students who are graduating from kindergarten, from sixth grade, and from ninth grade. And we are graduating, we are also celebrating the end of a really good school year. I will start by asking for God's blessings. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this year, the students, the teachers, and the parents. You have blessed us, and we are grateful for your hand of mercy on us. We recognize that you have helped us grow and learn to make good friends and to learn to be more respectful, mature young men and women. Please bless this ceremony and bless these 10 graduates. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our students have prepared songs to share with you today. The first presentation is for the first and second graders singing, What a Friend We Have in Jesus.
We're going to sing Sarah's Bunda. It's a duck spinning song. It is played all around the world. One, two, ready, go. Sarah's Bunda, Sarah's Bunda, Sarah's Bunda.
piano class will perform four duets. And the first one is by Lina Miyuki and they're playing on Dante Cantabile.
Congratulations to the second day.
First of all, I thank you my, all my teachers, Ms. Dajus, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown, my just new teachers, and all the other teachers and staff for being so patient and kind to me throughout the year. Because of my teachers, I had learned about learning and overcoming challenges. In the elementary school, I have learned a lot of things. Some of the things that I saw were challenging for me were long division, learning handouts, learning kanji, and taking ECVM reading tests. But I tried hard, practiced a lot, and with my teacher's help, I succeeded in all of these things. I also thank my parents for always supporting me, for sending me to the school, for helping me with my homework, for preparing runs every day. My favorite subject is math. I love it because I love puzzles, and math seems like a puzzle to me. I love everything about math. The units that I enjoy the most were multiplication, percentages, and negative numbers. I've also had a lot of great memories. We went to Yomiri Land for our fifth grade trip. There we went on so many rides. We had pizza, and we met a group of boys who were really funny. One of the rides, there was so much fun that me, Kay, and Nina went on it four times. That was one of the best trips ever. This brings me to thanking my friends for always making every day fun and enjoyable. I also learned morals. One of the morals I learned was love your neighbor as yourself. For those who will be in Mr. Brown's classes this spring, you are going to enjoy it because Mr. Brown is a really nice and funny teacher. I also wish all the students good luck for the future. Thank you.
Congratulations, class, sixth grade class of 2023.
thank you. And I think I'll never forget this special experience I had in these three years. resulted in serious burnout and me being sleep deprived. Today, I still tend to procrastinate on my work. However, in comparison to last year, I don't do it as frequently. I'm sure a small letter wouldn't solve the problem entirely, but at the very least, it'll bring my flaws to my attention. Knowing the damage that all the all-nighters have caused would certainly encourage me to take better care of my health. Secondly, I would bring awareness to my past self about my low self-esteem. Self-love isn't my thing. It's always easier to compliment someone else than yourself. It's cheesy to hear someone say, if you can't love yourself, you can't love others. But it's true. To describe myself, I was pessimistic about everything. Expecting the worst felt more reassuring than getting my hopes up for me to be disappointed. Keeping such a mindset made me gloomy, but I was unaware of the effects until later on in the year. With this mix of being constantly drained, I was in really bad shape. Now, I'm more of a realist. Coming to terms with disappointment is a difficult task, but it's okay to be disappointed sometimes. Sure, it will sting for that one moment, but it's so much healthier in the long run. To sum it up, I would tell my past self to cheer up and focus more on the happier sides of life. It's so easy to focus on the bad things that are happening, happening in your life, but why should you spend all your attention on the ne negativity when you can focus more on the good side? After noticing these effects on my lifestyle, I've been looking back and working towards being more positive from now on despite all the hardships I may face. Overall, it would provide a more beneficial lifestyle than being pessimistic about everything. And even now, I can already see these positive changes coming into my life. And I hope to continue pushing forward into the future to become the best I can ever be. are gifted. They're both extremely gifted. They're, they, they just really put a lot of pressure on themselves. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> I'm 
about ready to give these two lovely ladies their certificates. This has this certifies that these lovely ladies have completed all the requirements for junior high, grades seven through nine, and are hereby awarded a graduation diploma. Miyuki Shinohara. Dear Father, thank you for these 10 wonderful boys and girls, young men and women. Please watch over them as they continue their education. Help our school family and their families to support them as they grow. May you bless each one. In your name we pray. Amen. Here are the 2023 graduates of New Life International School. Ready? God bless them all. That concludes our ceremony. We thank you. If you want to take pictures, you're welcome to come forward and, and take pictures. So bless you guys. Bless you. Bye, guys. <laughs>